Did you know that Walmart Spark has a secret metric that doesn't show up in the metrics tab? This metric determines if you are shown an offer, meaning that the lower that this metric is, the less offers you'll see each day. In my last video, I talked about how acceptance rate is one of the most important factors when determining if you are shown the highest paying offers that Walmart Spark has to offer. In this video, I'll be talking about the metric that determines if you are shown offers from the Walmart Spark system. So with the introduction out of the way, let's get into today's video. I came across a metric when I was researching the previous video about acceptance rate. This metric Walmart Spark only mentions once on the Drive for Spark website, and this metric will determine if you continue to see offers each day. Let me repeat that again because some of you guys are a little bit confused on what I meant in the last video. This video will talk about the metric that determines if you are shown offers. If you are seeing offers all day long, but you want to see higher paying offers, than the previous video is for you and you can see that by clicking the card in the upper right hand corner now if you are not seeing offers all day long then this video is for you it's funny that with almost 6.5 thousand words written about what to do and what not to do as a walmart spark driver on the walmart spark website that they decided to use one sentence that's 16 words long to talk about dropping or canceling orders and how this will decrease the number of offers that you are shown. I think they are purposely keeping this information about what affects drivers from seeing offers tucked away, possibly so that drivers don't know this information and so Walmart Spark has a way to deactivate drivers that are purposely canceling trips or canceling way too many trips and trying to game the system. Now you might be thinking, how do you game the system from this? Well, I found out something really simple and pretty stupid that I've heard of some drivers doing that increases the pay on orders. This will probably result in deactivation because your cost Walmart more money than they want to spend on the order and they will catch on eventually and probably deactivate you. I heard from a friend that does Walmart Spark in a couple of different zones, shout out to you, that at a store she was delivering from, she was talking to a driver and they were talking about how they accept an order and then they cancel the order and then they reaccept the order and then they cancel the order and then they reaccept the, re the order and each time the pay increases on the order until they get to whatever bonus amount they want. So they purposely accept and cancel orders so that the order will get a surge price on it and this is how they decided to game the system and make the orders that they get higher paying. I don't know how long they could do this for before they get deactivated but this should decrease the number of offers that the driver is shown each following day because they're canceling so many orders. Anecdotally I've accepted express orders in the past one day I had four of them and I absolutely hate express orders because I hate sitting there waiting for the person inside the store to shop the order and bring it out to me so I would always cancel these orders and one day I had four of them and I canceled all four of them that I got. The next day I went to the Walmart and started to work and I did one maybe two orders and then after that I sat at the Walmart for over four hours watching drivers pull into the Walmart pickup location pick up their order and then drive off to deliver the order and come back like 45 minutes later and yet I still didn't see any offers this whole entire time that I was sitting there watching this happen. After over four hours of watching drivers come in and pick up orders and then leave and then come pick up more orders and leave, I decided to drive home because I only live about seven minutes from the Walmart. I left Walmart Spark open the whole night just to see if I was going to get an offer and I didn't see any offer the rest of the night. Normally I can sit at home and I can get offers and then I can just drive to the Walmart because I am so close to it. I didn't see any surge pricing offers, I didn't see any shop and deliver orders, no express orders, absolutely nothing the whole entire time. So in my experience, dropping orders will affect you quite extremely and it may result in you not seeing any offers at all for the following day. So I would highly recommend not dropping offers unless you absolutely have to. If for some reason you do have to, like if the order is too large and it's not going to fit in your car, or if the order is taking too long to come out to you or something, it's still getting ready after you've been sitting there for like 30 minutes, then I would highly recommend just calling support and asking support to cancel the order for you so that way it doesn't impact you as much as you clicking in your app that you would want to cancel the order. Also, I did want to mention that acceptance rate and this metric of dropping orders when combined together will help you get more offers. If you saw the previous video, then you will know that acceptance rate will keep you prioritized to receive offers and the number of orders that you drop or cancel will also determine if you are shown offers. So these two together, meaning if you have a high acceptance rate and you rarely or never cancel orders, you should always be seeing an offer every single hour when new offers come out. I did also want to mention something else from the previous video. Unfortunately, because of that video, support has received a lot of calls from you guys calling them and asking to get stores removed. If you do want to still get a store removed, then just say something like you feel unsafe at that store or an associate swore something like that and you should be able to still get support to cancel the stores for you just make up something that makes the store seem unsafe or as a safety hazard so that you can get the store removed I'm really sorry that they changed their policy after I made that video probably because of that video 
video since there's been almost 2,000 of you that have watched that video. I know that it still works. I've been having people comment and I've had a friend do it. It's also about the person that you talk to on the phone. Some people are helpful, some people are not helpful. So if you get somebody that sounds like they're not gonna be helpful, then just seriously put your phone on mute for a couple of seconds and then just hang up. That way they thought that they lost the call and then just call right back and hopefully you'll get somebody that's more willing to help you. So I hope that this video, as well as the video about acceptance rate and getting higher paying offers, help you guys out to get more offers and get higher paying offers. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and consider hitting subscribe if you like this content. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.